Are you ready to do faces and feel good? If yes, then I say you are welcome to the Maris Red Defendable Calculus Release Wax Tutorial. This tutorial is mainly for those students that will be sitting for wax. Especially for those students that will be sitting this coming wax. I have many wax tutorial videos in my matrix and faces. I strongly believe that if you watch my videos in series, you will fully be prepared to sit this coming wax. And you will have a flying color, especially in mathematics and physics. Because I took my time and solved most of the questions that appear more frequently, like I started. Wax June 2019. Question 12b. 1. I. What are microns? Now, on uh, this particular topic here, it usually appear in the wax exam. In this topic here, it falls on nuclear species. What are microns? Now, microns just refers to the sum of the proton and neutrons. The atom consists of the proton and neutrons within its nucleus. So the nucleus of an atom it comprises of two subparticles, and these two subparticles are the proton and that of the neutrons. So the sum of the proton and the neutrons within the nucleus of an atom it refers to as nucleus. The nucleus is also referred to as the mass number. So when talking about proton and neutron within a nucleus of an atom, we are simply trying to talk about nucleus. Let's move to the next one. Define the bounding energy of an atom. The bounding energy of an atom refers to the minimum energy required or needed to split the nucleus of an atom. Okay, write it down. So the bound energy bounding energy just refers to us The minimum energy or we can say what require or needed to split the nucleus. So the minimum energy or what required or needed to split the nucleus is what refers to as the bounding energy of an atom. Now, let's see 3R. So 3R says, given that the mass of the proton is 1.0073 atomic mass unit, or U, the mass of the neutron is 1.0087 U, and the mass of helium nucleus is 4.0015 U. Calculate the bounding energy of the nucleus, the helium nucleus. The bound energy per nucleus of the helium. So let's move. Now, you find the foremost thing, let us identify the mass of proton in the problem. We identify the mass of neutrons in the problem and 
we also identify the number of proton and we identify the number of neutrons. Then we can find the mass defect. Thereafter, we can easily find the bonding energy. Remember the bonding energy refers to the minimum energy of work required or needed to split or to divide or is it to disintegrate the nucleus of an atom or we are the nucleus. And the nucleus comprises of the proton and that of the neutrons. In the nucleus of an atom, we only have the proton and that of the neutrons. So they move. So here we have solution 3i. We are given the mass of the proton. So the mass of the proton BMP. So the mass of the proton given to all here is 1.0073 U. We are also given the mass of the neutrons. So the mass of the neutron B M M is given to all as 0.0087 U. Also given the mass of helium nucleus. So the mass of helium nucleus. So the mass of helium, helium HE, here is 2 and here is 4, you may declare. It's equal to 4.0015 U. We are asked to calculate the binary energy. So for alpha, and the x or to calculate the binary energy. So the binary energy is represented or denoted by E. Question mark. And we are also asked to calculate the binary energy per nucleon. Now, the binary energy per nucleon means we will divide the binary energy by the number of nucleons. So here, for beta, the binary energy per nucleon, we don't know the binary energy per nucleon. So the band energy per nucleon. You can see, oh, let us see here. The band energy per nucleon of beta is equal to what? Question mark. All right. So let's solve for alpha. So right now, we can get a whole erase. We're going to solve alpha. So the first and foremost thing, before we find the band energy, we need to find the mass defect. The mass defect refers to the difference in mass of the nucleus in its individual particle. I repeat, the mass defect refers to the difference in mass of the nucleus in its individual particles. So the mass defect is represented by delta M is equal to the number of protons here times the mass of proton mp plus the number of neutron n times the mass of neutron mn minus the mass of the nucleus. So the number of proton and the mass of proton plus the number of neutron and the mass of neutron refers to the individual particles of the nucleus of an atom. So yeah, now, we need to find Z and we need to find N. The nucleus given to all here, the number of nucleus given to all here, uh, in this helium atom is 4. And the number of nucleus also refers to as the mass number. And we know that a is equal to Z plus M. 2 represents the number of protons. The number of protons for helium atom here is 2. So here, in the mass number here, is represented by the nucleons. So the nucleons here we have is 4 equal to Z here we have 2 plus the number of neutron. N. So we send it to a cross, we have 4 minus 2 equal to N. You can see that our N will be equal to 2. 
That is the number of neutrons. So now, you can see that tuition M or the mass effect equal to the number of protons we have two times the mass of proton we have 1.0073 U in our data. Plus the number of neutrons we have two and the mass of neutrons we have 1.0087 U. Minus the mass of the nucleus here given to us here we have 4.0015 U. 4.0015 U. So we have the mass defect two times 1.0073 U we have 2.0146 U. That's what I will see. So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 7 is 14. Per 4 is 1. Or 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. Correct. Plus. So 2 times 1.0087. We have 2 times 7. 14 per 4 is 1. Okay, I want 2 times 8, 16. Because the one can make it what? Make it 17. Person can get 1. 2 times 0 is 0. So 0 plus the 1, they are 1. 2 times 0 is 0. And 2 times 1 is what? 2. U. Manos, we have 4.0015U. So now, we can now add. 2.0146 U, the U is still for atomic mass unit, plus 2.0174 U. Doing this will yield to 4.032 minus 4.0132. 0, 0, 1, 5. So, when we do our calculation now, we have the mass defect equal to 0 0.0 0, 3, 0, 5 U. So, this is our mass defect. Since we have the mass defect, we can now calculate the band engine. But it gives our compression one atomic mass unit. Is equal to 931 or uh, mica electro foot. So we will use this compression to find our band energy in MEV. So the MEV it stands for uh, mica electron foot. So let's do this. So the compression here we can do. So the band energy here now. Will be equal to we have zero point zero three zero five um u times we have nine three one m e v all divided by one u. We can clearly see that uh U will cancel U. So multiply 0 0.0305 by 931 will have E9 will be equal to 28.4 MEV. So this is our answer for alpha. Now we are asked to find the band energy per nucleus. So they will find the band energy per nucleus. So the band energy per nucleus here, beta.
So the value of the nickels will be equal to the burning energy the far part the nickels no more. So the burning energy here we have On the eight point four, all divided by the number of neutrons in a helium atom is four. So all divided by four. So we'll divide on the eight point four by four, we we'll have. Seven point one. So let's do the division easily. Four divided by four, one. Four divided by twenty-eight for seven times. So here, the burning energy per nickel, we have seven point one now. Eta electron volts. So this is our answer for eta. Thank you. You can book me on the next video where I will solve some of the past wise questions. Please subscribe. I love you, but Jesus loves you the best. Thank you for your time.